It's been almost a year since the Black Lives Matter mural found a home on Plum Street outside City Hall. Since then, the paint, as you can imagine, is fading. Brad Underwood is live there tonight as city leaders come up with ways to preserve it. What are they saying tonight, Brad? Well, good evening, Paula. Yeah, they're promising money here in the 2022 budget to help restore the mural outside City Hall. But that's not until next year. One council member wants that to be done before this year's Juneteenth celebration. So she's asking council to make it happen. Joining cities around the world a year ago, Cincinnatians took to the streets, numerous marches, and eventually a street mural outside City Hall let everyone know that Black Lives Matter. It was a healing moment for our community, but you know, we can't not remember what today is, right? And kind of what stirred all of this in the first place. Alanda's pal helped bring the mural to life on Plum Street. Today, the paint is fading. Still shining bright, the message and the support. A lot of cars have rolled over, someone threw paint on it. I mean, there have been some issues with it. It doesn't look bad, but it needs sprucing up. The proposed 2022 city budget earmarks $200,000 to preserve the mural and place a historical plaque explaining its backstory. Cincinnati City Council member Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney is trying to fast track the cash to repaint it. We can't wait for the operating budget because we want it all done before Juneteenth. As you know, Juneteenth is June 19th, and our celebration here, the flag raising, is June 18th. In total, Lemon Kearney is asking for $125,000. Only $13,000 is needed for supplies. Over 70% go to the artist, and the rest go to other black businesses like food, and, you know, we're doing some programming this year, et cetera. So I, I feel good about what we're asking for and what it'll help. The money would come from the city's reserve fund. It's wonderful to say that the Cincinnati um, comes together and it's really about healing. It's about healing and hope. Well, Lemon Kearney does expect full council to vote on this tomorrow. Reporting live at City Hall, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Thank you, Brad. And once funding is secured, work could begin as early as next month. The goal is to have the paint dry and the mural looking great in time for the Juneteenth celebration.